very embarrassed and humiliated of the situation. Uh, I tried to express, you know, I'm a person with a disability. Joshua Roberts was hospitalized with broken bones and other serious injuries after he was hit by a car. And since then, his service animal, Ocean, helps him deal with the post-traumatic stress disorder that incident caused. It became very hard for me to kind of uh, articulate my, my thoughts and how to talk about my feelings. So it's, uh, I needed a companion that could, you know, really remind me of, of the good things in life. And she certainly does that. About 18 months ago, Roberts and Ocean tried to get in a cab here at Adelaide and George Street. A citywide car turned him away first, and then a citywide van denied him a ride too, until Robert spoke with a nearby police officer who convinced the van driver to take him. But it was uh, an ordeal. It was embarrassing to say the least, and uh, it was a little frustrating to have to re-experience that humiliation of having this condition uh, and, and doing my best myself to deal with it. it, it you know, I figured that. I would at least receive a little bit of support from the transportation systems we have, but I felt failed on that day. Roberts decided to complain about it to the Human Rights Commission after reaching out to the company. I tried my best to communicate the issues with the company itself. I was not successful. Uh, no phone call was ever returned. Um, you know, there was no attempts of any communication to resolve the matter, to provide accommodation or even an understanding of why uh, it went the way it did. Um, so after sharing my message with the public, it, it was strongly encouraged that I take a route that could help solve or at least offer some resolution to the matter. This spring, an adjudicator for the commission ruled Citywide did unfairly discriminate against Roberts. The company was ordered to pay him $7,500 in damages and take training about the accommodation of people with disabilities. This is the second time the Human Rights Commission has found that citywide discriminated against a person with a disability who uses a service dog. In this latest decision, the adjudicator said it's evidence of a systemic problem at citywide, beyond the actions of the individual drivers in this case. CBC called the company's owner, Peter Gulliver, but he didn't return our call. Mark Quinn, CBC News, St. John's.